Ichika Oromira is the only boy in Infinite Stratos Academy, where students train to become pilots of mechanical suits called Infinite Stratos. One night, Ichika has a strange dream where a woman attacks him and strangles him to death. He gets woken up by German transfer student Laura, who excitedly asks if he would join her in going to a new water park. But Ichika unintentionally offends her when he suggests that they invite all the other girls to the park as well, and an angry Laura leaves him. Later, Laura and Charlotte are shopping at the mall together when they accidentally end up as models for a clothing store, and then they end up accidentally saving hostages at a maid cafe. The two of them celebrate their victories with crepes together. But at the same time, a mysterious female spy breaches a research facility in England to steal a top-secret infinite stratos called Silent Zephyrus. Meanwhile, Ichika and the rest of the girls go to the water park to relax, although they compete over his attention and are angry that Ichika invited each of them alone, so they each assumed that the water park was a solo date with him. In the end, they still have a fun time at the park as they watch fireworks together, and eventually celebrate the end of summer vacation. Later, their teacher Chifuyu and the assistant teacher Meyer are notified of the breach in England. The school year begins and Ichika returns to training. After a practice session against Ling Yin, he ends up late to class where he is scolded by his teacher Chifuyu who is also his older sister. Chief Yu orders Charlotte to formalize a punishment for Ichika, and she agrees happily. Later at the school assembly, Ichika formally meets Totanashi, the president of the student council at the academy. Totanashi has been assigned to protect him, and she is the strongest infinite Stratos user at the academy. Meanwhile, the class is tasked with coming up with an event for the upcoming school festival, and Laura proposes that the class run a maid cafe. At the same time, Ichika challenges Totanashi to a duel after he learns of her mission, but is quickly defeated by her combat strength. Later, a recovering Ichika has a strange dream that seems to resemble Hoki when he is suddenly awoken by Totanashi and Laura. Totanashi helps Ichika train his piloting skills using an advanced technique called Circle Rondo, and she asks Cecilia and Charlotte to help teach him. Although Totanashi tries to give Ichika advice on the new technique, he ultimately fails and slams into a nearby wall. After the brutal training session, the girls try to cheer up Ichika but the exhausted pilot just falls asleep instead. In the morning, Totanashi coerces Ichika into giving her a massage, much to his embarrassment. Later, during the school festival, Ling Yin pays a visit to the maid cafe where Ichika works as a butler. She orders a wine glass filled with chocolate sticks that come with a special twist she gets to personally feed Ichika. However, her mood quickly sours, and she slaps him before hastily departing in embarrassment when he compares her eating habits to a cute squirrel. Things take an uncomfortable turn for Ichika when he encounters Reiko, a saleswoman promoting new Infinite Stratos equipment. She makes him feel uneasy by urging him to try out her company's equipment. During his break, Cecilia leads Ichika to the brass band exhibition, where her attempt at an indirect kiss with a French horn fails spectacularly. Later, Totanashi forces Ichika into playing the role of the prince in the student council's rendition of Cinderella. What he doesn't know is that whoever manages to seize his crown during the performance gains the privilege of living with him. Ichika finds himself under constant bombardment from the girls, surviving the crazy shenanigans of the play, which involves dodging booby traps set by Totanashi and being pursued by unexpected contestants. The situation takes a dramatic turn when Reiko kidnaps Ichika under the stage in the locker room, driven by the desire to steal his infinite stratos. Reiko unleashes the Iraq, revealing her true identity as Autumn from the clandestine organization known as Phantom Task. After subduing Ichika, Autumn discloses that it was Phantom Task that was responsible for his first abduction from the academy. She forcibly attempts to seize the Bia Kushiki, the infinite Stratos unit given to him. In the sky, Cecilia and Ling Yin take on another Phantom Task agent called M who uses the Silent Zephyrus. Meanwhile, Totanashi employs the mysterious lady, equipped with nanomachines that manipulate water in various forms, to confront Autumn in the locker room. As Ichika pursues Autumn outside, he encounters M, who successfully blocks his path. M and Autumn withdraw just as Hoki, Charlotte, and Laura join the fray as they are quickly outnumbered. Meanwhile, Maya provides Chief Ryu with intelligence indicating that the Silent Zephyrus was the second infinite Stratos unit stolen from England. Later at an undisclosed location, Autumn chastises M for her interference, but they are interrupted by Squall Musil, the leader of Phantom Task. M awaits her chance for revenge while gazing at a locket containing a photograph of Chief Ryu. Later, Totanashi not only discloses her mission to protect Ichika, but also reveals the hidden agenda behind the prince's crown, which she now possesses. Since Ichika is troubled by the attack from Phantom Task, Meyer asks him to attend an event where each of the girls would like to perform a skill for him. The event starts with Hoki who fails at performing a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. Up next is Cecilia who plays games with Ichika while dressed as a bunny, and Charlotte who gives him cookies. Finally, Chifuyu gives him a sundae and reveals that the event was a surprise birthday party for him. Meyer asks which of the girls performed the best, 
and Ichika ends up picking Chifuyu, which makes everyone else incredibly angry. Later, Ichika encounters M from Phantom Tasks, who formally introduces herself as Madoka Oromura, his twin sister that he has no knowledge about. She attacks him but is quickly shielded just in time by Laura. Madoka decides not to press the attack and retreat, leaving a confused Ichika. Some time later, Ichika offers to assist Charlotte in safeguarding Infinite Strato's equipment at the port. However, they encounter a pair of pilots armed with rifles and suddenly one of the pilots triggers an explosion, and in a selfless act, Ichika shields Charlotte from the blast. Yet, when Ichika is advised to retrieve his infinite stratos the Mech B Akushiki back at the Academy due to an identified anomaly, it sets a series of events in motion. Koki, Cecilia, and Lingyan successfully coax the truth about the Biakushiki situation from Charlotte, and this revelation leads to a spirited contest among the three, each vying for the coveted role of Ichika's bodyguard. However, Tatanashi intervenes to reprimand the trio for causing a ruckus within the school premises. Later, Tatanashi watches her younger sister Kanzashi, who is feeling downcast because the delivery of her personal infinite stratos, the Uchigane Nishiki, was delayed due to the company focusing on Ichika's mech Biakushiki. Ichika and Hoki receive an invitation from Karako Meizumi, the vice president of the newspaper club, offering dinner tickets as a bribe to feature them exclusively in a magazine dedicated to personal as pilots. Subsequently, the two undergo a personal interview and a photo shoot hosted by Keiruko's elder sister, Najisako Meizumi. Curious about Madoka, Ichika later asks Chifuyu about the possibility of having other siblings, and she firmly responds that she is his only family member. Later, with a tag match tournament on the horizon, Ling Yin and Charlotte make an effort to win Ichika's favor through culinary skill, while attempting to find out the type of partner he likes. Tatanashi entrusts Kanzashi to Ichika for the impending tag match competition. However, when Ichika approaches Kanzashi with the partnership proposal, she angrily declines to work with him. Ichika faces Kanzashi's frustration when his persistence in becoming her partner leads to a sharp slap. Later, he encounters difficulties while seeking maintenance assistance for the Uchigane Nishiki, as Kanzashi had personally assembled it. As Ichika remains resolute about teaming up with Kanzashi for the upcoming tag match tournament, the girls intensify their training efforts, determined to make him pay for not selecting them as his partner. Later, Tatanashi, plotting to partner with Hoki, takes the opportunity to assess Hoki's physical abilities. To her astonishment, she discovers that Hoki's proficiency has already reached an impressive level. Meanwhile, Kanzashi takes her Uchigane Nishiki for a test run, only to face a malfunction. Ichika comes to her rescue, preventing a catastrophic crash and leading to a change of heart in Kanzashi. Indirectly, she agrees to become his partner. Ichika shares crucial data from the Biakushiki to facilitate enhancements to the Uchigane Nishiki, with the maintenance students enthusiastically offering their assistance. Upon returning to his dorm, Tatanashi requests another massage from Ichika and explains that Chifuyu's strictness stems from her genuine concern for him. Meanwhile, Kanzashi hopes to present Ichika with a bag of muffins as a heartfelt gift. However, as she nears his door, she overhears that Ichika's partnership with her was due to Tatanashi's plan and a heartbroken Kanzashi flees the scene. A worried Ichika tries to find a missing Kanzashi, and he grapples with his own feelings of doubt. Meanwhile, Tatanashi makes a grand announcement about the forthcoming tag match tournament during the opening ceremony. However, the arena is suddenly besieged by a quintet of highly advanced golems. Ichika and Kanzashi eventually unite forces to confront one of these menacing golems, while Hoki, and Tatanashi engage another. Unfortunately, Tatanashi's efforts prove futile in penetrating the golem's formidable armor, resulting in a detonation that leaves her weakened. This incites Kanzashi's fury as she battles the golem, exhausting her weapon's power in the process. It's in this dire moment that Tatanashi steps in to shield Kanzashi, sustaining grave injuries in the process. Kanzashi finds solace and motivation from both Ichika and Tatanashi, who encourage her to confront her weaknesses instead of fleeing from them. After Hoki replenishes Ichika's shield energy, Kanzashi employs Tatanashi's aqua crystal as a talisman of good fortune, enabling them to vanquish all five golems. As they later recover in the infirmary, Tatanashi reflects on Ichika's reliability, leading to a friendly sister-to-sister -sister conversation with Kanzashi. Meanwhile, Maya manages to recover two of the golems, prompting Chifuyu to consider notifying the government. Later, Kanzashi presents Ichika with an anime movie as a gift, seizing the moment to confess her affection for him before abruptly running away. In the aftermath, she realizes that she may have accidentally revealed her love for anime instead. Meanwhile, the rest of the girls breathe sighs of relief when they think that Kanzashi is just a fan of anime, and is only interested in being friends with Ichika. Later, Maya summons Ichika to the infirmary for the purpose of taking body measurements to facilitate his enhancements, which leads to his embarrassment. During lunchtime, after learning of Ichika's fondness for the other girl's culinary creations, Cecilia approaches Hoki, seeking her assistance in preparing fried chicken. 
While Hulky briefly steps out of the kitchen, Cecilia intentionally adds perfume and a touch of fiery mustard to the fried chicken, giving it a dazzling appearance. Upon Hokey's return and tasting the dish, she mysteriously disappears from class the following day. Cecilia subsequently meets up with Charlotte to collaborate on a recipe. When Charlotte later goes to tuck Laura into bed, Cecilia once again introduces the fragrance-infused and spicy mustard-laden element to the dish. Both Charlotte and Laura, after sampling it, mysteriously find themselves absent the next day. Turning to Ling Yun, Cecilia proposes they work together on a sweet and sour pork dish. However, Cecilia deliberately sabotages the kitchen pot after Ling Yun mentions her electric stove's sluggish heating. Experiencing a sense of disappointment in herself, Ichika invites Cecilia to his room, where they jointly craft rice balls. Meanwhile at an upscale restaurant, Hoki's sister Tabane, the creator of all infinite stratos, defeats all the members of Phantom Task, but offers to make a new personalized unit for Madoka. Later, Ichika and his classmates embark on a serene field trip to Kyoto, with one of the highlights being an evening visit to the renowned Kiyosumi Temple. Amidst the picturesque autumn foliage, Cecilia positions herself near the vibrant leaves, prompting Ichika to snap a photo of the beautiful scenery, but accidentally removing Cecilia from the shot. Later, when Ichika loses his lens cover under a bridge, Charlotte lends a helping hand, assisting him in the search. Later they head to the shrine, where Cecilia, Ling Yin, Charlotte, and Laura all strive to capture his attention. In the midst of evading their advances, Ichika crosses paths with Kanzashi, offering her a lift, only to collide with Hoki. Following a pleasant picnic with the girls, Ichika and Hoki take a stroll into a serene bamboo forest. There, they encounter a mysterious woman named Squall, who kindly takes a photograph of them. Ichika becomes curious when Squall departs without mentioning his name, Ikiko. Later on, disaster strikes as Ichika accidentally drops his camera from the temple balcony. On the temple's grand stairway, he unexpectedly encounters Madoka, who attacks him while piloting her new personal is known as the Black Knight. Atop a towering structure, Totanashi engages in a fierce battle with Squall who is secretly the leader of Phantom Task and who wields the formidable Golden Dawn unit. Hoki and Cecilia, on the other hand, frantically search for Ichika within the temple, but they soon find themselves under attack from Autumn. Meanwhile, the remaining students and staff board the monorail for their return journey to the academy, only to encounter a malfunction that threatens to disrupt their voyage. While eluding Squall, Totanashi urgently alerts Kanzashi to the presence of a bomb concealed on the monorail. Ichika successfully thwarts Madoka's attempt to detonate the monorail, averting catastrophe. Hoki and Cecilia manage to subdue Autumn, leading to her demise in an explosive climax. However, their relief is short-lived as they witness Madoka stabbing Ichika just moments before a distant explosion rattles the surroundings. Hoki, clutching Ichika, implores him to awaken while the search for the bomb continues. And luckily Kanzashi and the rest of the girls are able to discover and disarm the device just in time. A dreaming Ichika has a vision of Madoka attacking him, but a mysterious young girl dressed in white extends her hand to him. Meanwhile, the girls try to disable Madoka but are interrupted by Squall. Totanashi intervenes to even the fight and divert Squall's attention by shattering her defensive behavior. She signals Ichika to engage them further, but after some fighting Squall orders a retreat because they got the data they needed. Finally, a troubled Ichika and the rest of the class recover at a hot spring. However, Ichika wonders about his discovery that Madoka had a photograph of Chifuyu and how they might all be connected in some way. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.